Hi guys. So this is the second part, the second video on the activation sequence. I did a little mini course on the first two spheres, which is the life's work and the evolution. And now today I wanted to go through the radiance and the purpose. Um, I can say that this is something really good to do right now because it's kind of a way into the deep dive, which is the next course that the Gene Keys and Richard Rad are doing, where it's four month contemplation on these four spheres of the activation sequence. And if you take this little course, part one and part two, less than an hour, uh, you kind of get a taste for what it is we're going to do. But you're going to, of course, dive in very deep in your own contemplation with your own gene keys but this may gives you an understanding of what it is we're going to go through in these four months with Richard Rudd and some of the ambassadors and you know really really beautiful with people that are like completely new into it and also people that have been in the gene keys transmission <clears throat> for a while um, so what we looked at in part one was um, where the sun and the earth were in the moment you were born so this is the same thing as in normal astrology when you would have your sun sign, you know, your Taurus or Gemini or Scorpio. So it's like the most important one that we usually speak about. When we do human design and gene keys, we also have an unconscious side or a soul side of it where we look at the same two activations, the sun and the earth, three months before we were born or 88 degrees from that point in the 360 degree wheel. Um, and then we, go, we get like a more like an inner, a, a soul activation. That is the radiance and the purpose. And to also see how they are playing with, with the, con the conscious and the unconscious are always playing. It's kind of the personality and the soul and the dynamic between these two, the conscious and the conscious or the personality and, and the body or the personality and the soul. So kind of, I, I think I'm going to just go over in the in slideshow again what we did last time uh, if somebody sees this video and haven't seen the first one but that is the explanation of of the planetary you know activations we're using and also why i think it's a good time to look into this now to kind of see if it resonates and and if you want to do either the golden path which is the study self-study thing the kind of deeper commitment or the deep dive where we do it in community we do it together with of course a lot of self uh, contemplation but then coming together and sharing and actually committing for four months to that together so um let me share um i'm going to do it just in kind of old <laughs> old fashion style with a powerpoint um so yeah the activation sequence and it's like in it's in this sequence where we have our um genius it's like you know hidden in a way and we unlock that and we we speak about the challenge and the breakthrough and this is that veil that is between the conscious and the unconscious or the personality and the soul uh so that's and then when we break through we can ground in our core stability and um in this one i was using the profile that actually shows us the this frequency bands uh of each jinky from the shadow which was red and the gift in, in green and the city in blue. So in the new profiler, we don't have that color uh, difference. We have all of them are, are gray. But I think in what I'm going to use in this one, I still have the old way of, of writing them down out. Um, so here I was just showing that um, we have the same, the same activations in uh, in human design and in the gene keys the four top keys um and an example of a gene key chart the 26 activations so we're going to use the four main ones the sun and the earth in both the conscious and the conscious here you can see it uh here was why i was just speaking about that's those four activation mapped out uh this is how it looks in the in the gene keys and here we have those spheres life's work evolution radiance and purpose the pillars of our genius and the fabric of our destiny that is encoded in there it's like the seeds for our potential transformation uh it's 
Today we're going to speak more about that grounding that happens through the purpose and the core stability. Last time we were more speaking about the role in the world. Uh, it's about reprogramming, you know, how you see yourself, but more than anything, how you respond to life and in what frequency you respond to life. Um, and it's so much about, you know, what we are, that imprint, like the true who we are, not a role we decide to play. It's really like more what we really are, not only what we decide to do in the world. Um, and this is what we went through last time. So life's work is personality, role, how we serve the world. The evolution is really where the earth was in the moment we were born. So it's like our biggest challenge. And that's where I was also going through the one liner in the last um, little mini course. Uh, so, and also why I'm saying like we, the challenge or the evolution, we always come back to it. And every time we can thread with a little bit more love and understanding and openness. Um, and here we have the keywords. So this kind of works for both sides. You know, the first line of like the the create the creative uh, and invest the investor investigator and the creator. The second line is about naturalness and and dancing, but not wanting to dance with everybody. The changer is about playing with energy and experience. The fourth line is about the heart and serving the world through doing what you love. The fifth line is really about you know solutions and having a higher perspective of things and speaking your truth um and having impact and this science about the vision and about being a role model and about you know walking your talk in the world kind of the, the future kind of leader way it's not enough to just say it but you have to walk it and the key words, yes, yes. So of course, for the sixth line is vision. For the fifth, fifth line is the solutions and the wisdoms that are that are shared. The fourth line is the hearts and the feelings. The third line is that playfulness with energy and experience and the humor. The the second line is a lot about you know it just looks like so natural and so cool, so cool and so you know passionate. So it's very kind of contagious in that way and the first line in that kind of creation and the entrepreneur uh, feeling of it is quite bold but it's also the foundation and the security kind of where things start right so these are these are lines that's these are the line or the tone that we can speak about in each of the four spheres so they don't change so if you are for example you know if your personality is six and your uh, and your unconscious is two you're a six two so you will have a six line or point six in your life's work in your evolution then you will have a point two in your radiance and your purpose and then you can see yeah you're about it is about vision and passion or if you're a three five you know it is about humor and wisdom so you can like play these are these goes for anywhere in a way where you look at your profile you can go into the line which is the number after the dot and just really see okay what is the flavor what is the tone of this key so you see the key and then a dot and then the line and that's what kind of tells you about the um, really about the tone or the flavor of that of how you live out that key and here we have the wine one liner that i went through the last time that you can kind of just stop the video and see this is depending on the line that you have in your serial evolution you will you can see what what it is that is your often your biggest challenge and kind of just kind of use that um i probably need to do a pointer yeah that's better um and here is that veil i was speaking about here so um, it's about the conscious on this side and the unconscious on this side. So you see challenge and core stability. You don't come to your core stability until you've done this breakthrough through the veil between the personality and the soul or the conscious and the unconscious. Um, let's actually do that again. So here is what we're going to talk about today. The radiance is the sun again, and the purpose is the, is the earth. So the radiance is really kind of, it's, it's about your health, it's your vitality, it's your aura, it's kind of what your body needs to be healthy. So for me, I'm a six line, it's about nurture. It's so important for me to nurture, but not only nurture my body, but also nurture the, the, the vision that my soul has, right? 
And if, if you're a fourth line, it's that heart and that friendships. It's really like, you know, to feel good, to feel healthy, you need to connect with the heart. You need friendship. You need to breathe, you know. Um, and it is a hidden instrument for intuition. Like it's there. And when you tune into it, it makes your life so much easier. It just starts to guide you when you're tuning into to what what you need and and you start your aura or also starts to become just much bigger so when i nurture my vision my aura becomes more powerful when a fourth line radiance and purpose start to breathe and and you know live from that heart and, and with the right friendship they they their aura becomes bigger when the second line start to flow and have of you know becoming one merging with other alive things then as well it's like the aura becomes bigger the first line when it steps into the to like kind of the solitude in a way tonight you know times with yourself where you can create where you can be in your grounding in your foundation then your aura becomes bigger um the fifth line is about the voice and the impact so when you step step into that then your aura becomes bigger uh, i think i went through all of them the third line the cardiovascular system and and just like again the energy and the experience experimenting the the adventure um when you when you include that in your life and you give yourself the um, permission to have that then your aura becomes so that these are just some kind of simple examples so you know you can make it you can you can really interpret it in, in bigger sense as well what it is that you need to include you know for for your health and the health like i always say is like is physical is emotional is mental and is spiritual um so very very beautiful when we step into and of course, the, the gene key, not only the line, the gene key in this position is going to say, you know, how we do that, how, what is important in those relationships, if you're a fourth line, what's important in that merging with the other, if, it, if you're a second line, what's important in your own solitude and creation, if you're a first line, like all that is, is important uh, to, to, to combine the key and the line. And then the purpose is, I was, it, they're connected, you know, it's the sun and the earth. So the purpose is even more about the grounding, um, about the embodied principle. So I think I might have that somewhere. I have some other, uh, I can go through the lines, but it's really, you know, the first line, how do you ground? The second line, how do you ground? The third line, how do you ground? It's about, you know, it's like about living life in a true way for you and grounding yourself in a true way and when you are when you it's kind of your roots so when your roots come down into the earth you suddenly you know you suddenly can see this challenge as more as an opportunity to evolve because you are rooted in your inner essence and again we come back to what i said in the beginning it's so much more about being kind of a tree that has those roots so you kind of just stand there and life can you know evolve around you and you can grow from the roots right so and it's it's connected so the same you will always have the same line in your sphere of radiance your sphere of purpose they are connected so we have like the bones and the muscles the structure in line one and we have the flow and the spine and you know the fluids in, in line two we have the cardiovascular system and the kind of the pumping heart and and the fluids in that that sense you know more kind of the uh, the, the 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 yeah the blood and the more kind of that pumping more fiery uh third line and then the fourth line is the breath and the heart uh which is the heart but maybe more like through breath and through practices that are less intense than the third line the fifth line has to do with with um the voice and the vibration so anything where you can engage your body in vibration and, and and your voice and tones and all that uh is the fifth line and the sixth line is like the intent in the cells which is always with the sixth line a little bit out there but it's like the new kind of what what's coming from the future when everything is about the endocrine system kind of you know that is what actually already is dictating all the functions in our body because they are kind of little 
you know, stations that send out hormones and signal substances for everything to work. So they are like, um, they are not really in the background, but they are the signalizations for the body to work. And it's a cellular system. So it's like the hologenetic things too, like in every cell, there is an intelligence and all the cells work together. And the cells is part of an organ that is part of your body, that is part of something bigger. So having that kind of hologenetic a way of, of seeing it and way of grounding your own life in the sixth line. And maybe we'll have another slide about that. Let's see. So this is what I just said. You can just um, look at it and you know see if it makes sense. Line one, bones, two fluids, three blood, four rhythm or breath, five frequency in voice, six cells and intent. So you just know see and then it's beautiful because you can also use for that embody you know we speak about embodied principles so how do you how do you feel grounded how do you make your roots come out and then you have even the part of the body so like when you can see it's like you know using your bones or your your muscles and feeling them and and the second line is also the second chakra you can see the chakras too but they're like the sacral chakra in that part of the body the third line is it's more the solar plexus and the belly. The fourth line is the chest. The fifth line is the throat. And the sixth line is the, the head or the vision, the third eye, you know? So this is a good way to, there's something mystical when we speak about being because we can't really do much about it. So this is a way to tune into being, uh, tune into your soul actually, because like we also know in some of the other spheres, it's like, the, the physical body is really kind of the doorway to the spirituality as well. For example, in the SQ, you know, in the middle of your, of your hologenetic profile, you have that sphere that, that has to do both with your body and your spirituality. The intelligence of those are, are the same. So knowing that that's your groundedness comes from tuning into your radiance and to your purpose and see what your body needs, which is also what your soul needs. So it's, the, it's a beautiful way of, of, of looking at it. Um, so, and then from these two, so when, you know, when you tune into the radiance and the purpose and you put down your roots, that's when the core stability, which is the pathway between the radiance and the purpose, that's when the core stability can really anchor you. And it's not a, a solid stability that you're like fixed in the ground. It's actually more than anything like an inner strength. Um, so it's about internally responding to life rather than reacting to it. And externally, of course, stability has less to do with muscular power and more with like a tensile flexible strength of the fascia and like inside the body and also in a more in a less tangible way it's like that more feminine inner strength instead of like the kind of warriors outer outer kind of more masculine doing strength so it's a state of dynamic equilibrium and compassionate clarity so it's also this kind of way you know when life is hard you can stay in your center and observe it you don't have to react to it it's that kind of all embracing, like I'm neutral, I can stay here, I can feel it, I can see it, and I'm compassionate in, 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 with myself and with whatever is going on, you know? And it's like moving deeper into the core so that we can be more stable from there and, and actually accept and allow and embrace more things in our lives, even the things that are difficult, but that also make us grow. Um, and um yeah so let's see yeah and then so that's also something to say that you know these two the lines in the life's work in the evolution with the lines and the radiance and the purpose that's what creates the profile and you, you only have 12 combinations so you can't combine them all the ways it's kind of when we look at them kind of the geometry of it from the beginning when you have that cross that cross can only be in so many you know in so many ways so we have 12 profiles and the black one that the first number is the personality or the conscious and the red one is the unconscious um, and there is so much 
to actually understand about yourself just from the profile because this is what i was just if you put this together what i was just saying you really realize what what's coming out of it and how much it's actually in there without even looking at the gene key just looking at the line which is again the number at the dot in your in your profile you can see it here so 46.3 25.3 so we're only looking at the last number on both sides um, and so what i think i'm going to do in in the facebook group living matrix uh, is that I'm going to do some kind of contemplation or maybe units or even short videos on the profiles because now you kind of know how to you know thread this life's work and and break through and then radiance and purpose and what it is to be grounded in your body and what it is to uh, you know to put down your roots I would say and then actually to look at the profiles and kind of explain them a little bit also from a kind of human design perspective because this is, is very it is the same right and just see what what can we say about each each profile what is because there are only 12 of them so it's not too much to learn you know if you want to learn the whole incarnation cross which would be the lines together with the specific gene keys we have 192 of them so it's a lot to learn and it's also you know, kind of, if we, if we look in the literature, there's going to be like, you know, a little summary of it. But if you learn about the, the profile just from the lines, you can, you know, there's so much to learn about how you respond to life and what's your inner, and what's your inner kind of perspective, the inner and the outer. And you can learn so much about yourself and also about the people in your life. So I, yeah, I really recommend um, both the deep dive and then looking in more to profiling and, and what that actually means and how different profiles go together and the people you know that are around your family and all that um, what profiles are they and how can you actually understand them better and how can your interaction be easier by knowing how that profile works so thank you